गाइज वेलकम टू सिविल इंजीनियर्स अड्डा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू मॉडल अ कॉलम विद प्लिथ बीम ओके आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू मॉडल अ सिस्टम ऑफ फोर कॉलम्स एंड फोर प्लिथ बीम्स फॉर दैट वॉट आई हैव डन आई हैव टेकन माई द माई प्रीवियस मॉडल विच आई हैव शोन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो यू कैन गो एंड चेक इट आउट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन लिंक और इन माई प्ले लिस्ट वी कैन डू इज वी कैन जस्ट टेक द रेप्लिक ऑफ दिस कॉपी we can say this as copy and we can paste it and let's move it move it from one place to another place so you can see that there's a copy here that's already done so what you do let's keep it here somewhere and uh, let's take another copy so what you can do you can select on a footing or uh, footing and control hold control c and control v to paste another column and now one thing what you have to make it you just need to bring that uh, little bit away so guys this is done so actually this is done so now what i'm going to do is uh, i'm going to select the central column now i'll select this face x face so to check out the column okay so let me move it by 2500 mm so this is done and now what i'm going to do is uh, i'll just take this plan view it will be convenient for me to judge okay so now little bit i can move it still by say 200 mm and now let's turn off this column to get move it select the column and uh, move that column at the one corner let let's have a 1000 mm here fine similarly let's take one more copy of this column and we'll place this exactly here okay and now we will select the another column here so just make sure that all of them are at the vertices or at the edge of the soil mass so just it's a, it's a it's a, a random uh, size of the uh, soil mass and everything if you, you can model it according to your uh, convenience so only thing is i just wanted to make uh, to give you an idea of how the analysis could be done here so uh, modeling will be my first focus and uh, the second part will be a uh, analysis part okay so i'll just make sure that uh, they are in the same line uh, that's my intention so let's check whether they are in the same line or no or else it will become 180 degree fine so again select it here so this is 180 degree just zoom it here bit okay so the columns here should have come little bit closer to this part okay so just select normal thing now let's select this column edge column yeah now select move command and now slowly you start moving it and make sure that it's exactly over that line okay fine now this line is not needed for us so delete it so in this way we have modeled the four columns here at the corners and now is the challenging part okay so now it's the challenging part that we need to make so to we need to provide a strip beam okay mm, so fine so let's start doing that here okay so let's uh, start modeling the plinth beams so before that you can make sure whether your alignment is uh, proper like in the field in the field you will be having the plumb line uh, plumb bob and everything 
but here you don't have such uh, you can see a line you, you can see this portion of line so just make sure that it is up to the mark not up to 100% accuracy at least 99.8% so little bit you move so just zoom in a little bit so you can see there's a difference of uh, uh, plumb bob okay it's a reference so what we'll do we'll have to move this column a little bit so we're just doing that i now don't know why it's not selecting okay so just make sure yes now i think it will get selected yeah just make sure that maximum possible thing you are attending okay maximum poly uh, possible things you are attending so fine so this is done now so now we are ready for the modeling okay uh, what i'm going to do is firstly what i'll do is i'll uh, have to hide all the three footings here i'll hide this all the three footings so just uncheck from the footing here okay so fine if this is there then i don't have any problem uh, not a problem yeah so fine so let me start modeling so select the face here go for plan view now what i'm going to do yeah select the sketch where's the sketch here everything okay just select this yeah fine now what i'm going to do i'm just going to select a rectangle again here so the depth of the plinth beam i'm just taking the depth of the plinth beam as uh, uh, 500 mm so the depth of the plinth beam is 500 mm and the width of course will be same thing so i don't know why it's changed so let's take this 300 and this is 500 mm so fine guys so depth also is selected now we have to check this okay we have to check this okay we we'll have to check this okay fine okay one mistake i just made is i just have to i just had to i think uh, make a new component here so i need to make it a new component now i have to select a rectangle now select rectangle and uh, 600 okay 500 so depth of the footing is be done fine see now this is an entirely different component okay so this is done now so let me move this okay let me move this uh, through a distance of uh, say this is around 500 mm so fine i think it's moved now let me check here yeah so it has been moved here so let me adjust uh, the rotation panel so fine guys so you can see that the plane is ready here now i'll ask it for a pull command okay so i need to pull this pull this till i reach another part here so let me check or let me go until here okay until the yeah up till the center or you can just go up till here okay so fine this is fine now So you can just check like you can bring the view here so just make sure that it doesn't appear too much we'll have a just a combined thing so just also make sure that there's no such uh, gap left out yeah so this is done now so one thing one thing uh, this is done yeah 
okay now you uh, we can uh, on the other components so you can see the plane beam is ready a little bit so only one thing i need to do is i need to take this down so ask it to move down so how much will you move okay how much will you take it down okay you uh, you need to take it down okay so find this is fine this is you can take it up to since 1.5 meter is already inside so just take it up to 2 meters 2.7 and this will let me take the front view yeah this is done now so exactly 50 little bit down yeah 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 and it is done so this is done now so this is a plinth beam fine immediately we can uh, replicate this plinth beam okay what we can do is just uh, we can replicate this we can ask uh, it to move replicate control control v and we'll just move this okay we'll just move this part yeah so just uh, come to the new angle here so just make sure that it exactly fits into the the small things very 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 fine okay so this is done so we can take out the same plinth beam copy and paste and now we can ask it to move somewhere outside here and now what we can do it very cleverly what we have to do is instead of making a new entire new component we can do it very smartly Mm, we'll have to rotate this component exactly 90 degrees so this is done now again we have to move this component and in this way yes so we have to make sure that this is not fit up so the length or width again it has to be increased so what we'll do we'll have to need to pull this okay we'll do that pull pull for some 50 mm initially now now it's very simple just we need to have a replicate control c and control v and now let's move this command let's move this beam till the end we'll have to take a complete rotation now and now we have to see to the this is yeah so it's done so now only thing we need to check with the alignment okay the alignment part is left out so let's bring it up exactly up to the center okay we'll let we'll bring it exactly up to the center so here as well we have to see the alignment we are just seeing the alignment yes so all the systems are, are left. and select one thing what you can do is you need you can make this entire uh, the system of the columns and the print beams as a single unit you can ask for a combined select all the solids here like relating to this and uh, you can uh, select the footing as well completely everything complete uh, everything will become a combined unit see 
the entire thing is acting as a combined unit now okay so okay now what we'll do we'll uh, combine the entire uh, body so select the clay uh, soil and uh, just uh, uncheck that clay soil and now we'll combine the entire column and plinth beam systems yes and now select enter okay so the entire things has been connected now so actually the entire system has been connected so fine so this is done now so thank you guys i hope you understood uh, how to model a uh, set of co four columns with a plinth beam in a clay soil or any other soil that you, if you can consider so i hope uh, you and like the video please do subscribe my channel share the video to your friends thank you guys thank you for supporting have a good day